I am Punisher Vance Lake. And how long have you been wrestling? Uh, I've been wrestling for about two and a half years, training for about three or four. Where'd you start? Uh, started uh, here at 2CW, was trained at the Institute of Professional Wrestling by Zachary Springate the third. How come you got into wrestling? I got into wrestling because I love it and I said I was going to do it since I was like six years old. What's the worst injury you've ever gotten? Worst injury? Uh, so far pretty lucky on the injury front. Uh, uh, worst one would been is like only like my third or fourth match I was wrestling. I gave uh, I was actually my partner Kevin. I gave him my uh, double unhook suplex. Went for a bridge. I didn't throw him far enough. So we're going down. Back of his head comes down, hits me in the nose, mm. uh, knocks me loopy, bleeding all over the place. Have you have you mostly done tag team wrestling? Um, here, yeah. Uh, started off doing singles. Uh, Kevin and I came up together, trained together, so we started doing a lot of tags here. Uh, we've tagged some places elsewhere, but I do tags and singles. Okay. Uh, good stuff. What are some of the highlights of your career? Highlights of my career: uh, winning the two CW tag team titles earlier in uh, January. That was a big one. Um, getting to wrestle Raven, someone I looked up to when I was a teenager. That was like seven months under my wrestling career, so that was really cool. And, uh, what was it like wrestling Raven? Uh, it was it was surreal. It was nerve wracking, really <laughs> nerve wracking. Um, just being in the ring, watching him walk down, knowing I was going to wrestle him. I just wanted to be on the same show as him. Now I'm just actually wrestling him. Uh, I was actually on a show with him a few months earlier, and I was too scared to talk to him. I was I couldn't get the nerve to talk to him. A couple months later, I'm wrestling him. Uh, it was a good match. You know, he was he was he was good with me. He gave me a lot of tips and pointers. So learned a lot from it and I appreciated it. Cool. What's uh, one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to you in the ring? In the ring? Um, that would be when I was wrestling in uh, New Jersey. Uh, the ring was really weird. Had very, very loose ropes. I heard it was actually a boxing ring that got converted. <laughs> but I tripped over uh, in the middle of the ring and on this little hump. I went face first into the top and middle rope. And when I hit the middle rope, it was so saggy that the rope went all the way down to the ring apron. I went out of the ring head first and did like a complete barrel roll and, and stuff like that. And I like talked and landed on my ass and sat in my head. But oh, yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty scary. Everyone was like, oh my god, that was awesome. I was like, that was an accident. I almost died, but thank you for your concern. <laughs> Out of the ring, you had an interesting experience stemming from 2CW, didn't you? Yes, yes. My favorite story ever. Uh, in Rome, a uh, fan was getting a little overzealous. Uh, he took offense when he was kind of leaning in at me. I gave him a little push back. Uh, he took that as a puff chest out. I got to stand up for myself. I'm going to beat this wrestler's ass. Uh, saw him the next night in Oswego. Didn't really do anything. But when I was at my, my day job uh, that Monday, I was told that somebody was looking for me. He drove from Whitesboro to Oneida, waited for me for an hour while I was on lunch, was walking around my department on his phone telling some girl, you better get all my money out of the bank account because you're gonna need to bail me out after I beat this guy's ass. Well, I get, I come back from lunch and he's, for some reason, like he went from walking around to riding around in an electric cart. Like, I guess he got <laughs> tired. It was like, I need a motorized cart. So I need to do that. And so he, he wanna come up and talk to me, so I went up to him. He's already been there for almost two hours. I was like, you need help with anything. He's like, no, we're good. Did you really come over here just to ask us? Yeah, that's kind of my job. No, we're good, and he drives away. Uh, he mumbles something about me, and my boss heard him, so he kicks him out. Because my boss was at the show, he, he knew. So he kicks him out, he starts swearing up a storm. Storm manager comes in, he's swearing at him. They're just like, if you don't calm down, we're gonna call the cops. Well, he keeps swearing, so they call the cops. Cops show up, bring him out of the building. They're like, just leave. As he's getting the car, he flips off the cops. F you guys! Cops storm the car, open the door, yank him out, throw him in the back of the police car. They're letting him just kind of cool off while they're talking to the managers. They open up the door. Have you cooled off? F you! <laughs> Slams the door in his face. They haul him off, take him to jail. I'm, uh, I go back to work, and all of a sudden, in comes his mother, 
to uh, start yelling at me and demanding I get fired for assaulting her little boy. And she says to me, she goes, why'd you call the cops? Are you afraid of my son because he's six foot? I was like, I'm 6'5", 300 pounds. I'm not afraid of your little redneck son. Oh, yeah, you're just a fake wrestler. Oh, wrestling's not fake. Don't you bullshit me. I know it's fake. Well, then if I assaulted your son, isn't that just part of the show? And then that's when, at this point, she looked me up and down and gave me a look. Goes, you're no big show. You're right. I can actually wrestle. <laughs> what? You don't talk about Big Show that way. Yeah, that really, that really did not make her happy. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a good time. <laughs> no! Take him out! Come on, go! Yeah! Where can people find you on the internet? On the internet, you can find me on Facebook at facebookcom slike. You can find me on the Twitter at pun underscore Vance Lake. And if you really want to, you can visit my website for pictures, videos, all that good stuff at uh, PunisherVanceLike.webs.com. You, you want to spell the last name? Uh, Vance Lake is V-A-N-S-L-Y-K-E. All right. If you could fix anything about the uh, wrestling industry, what would it be? Um, the presentation and the way people see it. Um, I, when people find out I'm a professional wrestler, they either think I'm talking that I do MMA or they ask me if I do the fake stuff. Uh, they just are always like, oh, so that's a soap opera thing and all that. And I go on this big spiel and I was like, you know, everyone loves MMA, but every main fight I've ever seen has got some personal spin to it, some political spin to it. They have highlight videos, they have video packages. The NFL teams come out to pyro and, and entrance music. It's, it's the same thing in every single sport, but everyone just looks down at wrestling on it for some reason. I don't know. Probably because what's on TV is such a caricature of what they think wrestling is and it turned into some big cartoon, you know, stuff like that. I just kind of wish that people could look at it again as as the athletic competition that it is and not some big joke. That's what I would really like to change about it. Any career goals? Career goals, I would like to travel and do this. I would like to travel uh, across the country. I'd like to travel over to Europe, Japan. I'd like to get into Mexico. I would just really like to make enough money doing wrestling where I only had to work a couple hours at a real job. I would love to make enough money not to have a real job. That'd be even better. But if I can just travel around, wrestle every weekend, make some money at it, I'll consider it a success. And I want to see one of my t-shirts on Monday Night Raw. I want to see someone in the crowd wearing a Punisher Man's Lake shirt. That's how I know I'll make it.